What if I told you that everything you see around you, from the stars and galaxies to the atoms and molecules, is only a tiny fraction of what exists in the universe? What if I told you that there is a hidden, invisible, and mysterious force that shapes the cosmos and its destiny? And what if I told you that scientists have finally solved one of the biggest puzzles of physics and astronomy and revealed the true nature of this force? Welcome to Spaceverse. In today's video, we will talk about the dark matter mystery and how a new theory has revolutionized our understanding of the dark side of the universe. You will learn what dark matter and dark energy are, why they are so elusive and important, and how a brilliant scientist from Oxford University has proposed a radical solution that unifies them into a single fluid with negative mass. This is a groundbreaking discovery that could change everything we know about the origin and fate of the universe and open up new possibilities for energy and technology. You don't want to miss this, so stay tuned and watch till the end. Before we talk about the new theory that claims to solve the dark matter mystery, let's take a look at the current model of the universe, known as Lambda CDM. This model is based on the assumption that the universe is made up of three main components, ordinary matter, which is the stuff we see and touch, dark matter, which is a mysterious form of matter that does not interact with light or radiation, and dark energy, which is a mysterious force that causes the universe to expand faster and faster. Together, these three components account for the observed properties of the universe, such as its shape, size, age, and history. However, the Lambda CDM model is not perfect, and it faces some serious challenges and limitations on small scales, where it fails to explain some of the phenomena that we observe in the cosmos. For example, the Lambda CDM model predicts that the universe should be filled with clumps of dark matter, called halos, that surround galaxies and hold them together. But when we look at some of the galaxies, especially the dwarf ones, we find that they have less dark matter than expected, or none at all. This is known as the missing dark matter problem and it suggests that either dark matter is not as cold and clumpy as we thought, or that there is something else going on that affects the distribution of dark matter in the universe. Another problem that the Lambda CDM model faces is the accelerating expansion of the universe, which is driven by dark energy. The Lambda CDM model assumes that dark energy is constant and uniform throughout the universe, and that it has a negative pressure that counteracts gravity. But this assumption is not well justified, and it leads to some paradoxes and inconsistencies, such as the cosmological constant problem, which is the huge discrepancy between the theoretical and observed values of dark energy, and the coincidence problem, which is the puzzling fact that dark energy and dark matter have roughly the same density today, even though they evolve very differently over time. These problems indicate that there is something missing or wrong in our understanding of dark energy, and that we need a better explanation for the origin and nature of this mysterious force. To understand the new theory that claims to solve the dark matter mystery, we need to learn about a strange concept called negative mass. Negative mass is a hypothetical type of matter that has the opposite sign of the mass of normal matter. For example, minus one kilogram instead of one kilogram. This means that negative mass would defy the common sense laws of motion that we are used to. For instance, if you push an object with positive mass, it will move away from you. But if you push an object with negative mass, it will move towards you. This is because negative mass would have a negative inertia, which means that it would accelerate in the opposite direction of the applied force. Now, you might wonder, what does negative mass have to do with dark matter and dark energy? Well, according to Dr. James Farnes, an astrophysicist at Oxford University, negative mass could be the key to explaining both of these mysterious phenomena. He proposed a new theory that suggests that both dark matter and dark energy are actually the same thing, a fluid that possesses negative mass. He calls this fluid dark fluid, and he claims that it can account for the observations that contradict the current model of the universe, known as Lambda CDM. How does dark fluid work? According to Farnes, dark fluid behaves differently depending on the scale and the environment. 
at galactic scales. Dark fluid acts like dark matter, and it forms clumps of negative mass that surround galaxies and hold them together. However, unlike the cold and clumpy dark matter of the Lambda CDM model, dark fluid can also be expelled from galaxies by the positive mass of stars and gas. This explains why some galaxies have less dark matter than expected, or none at all. At larger scales, dark fluid acts like dark energy, and it causes the universe to expand faster and faster. This is because dark fluid has a negative pressure that counteracts gravity, and it also creates more of itself as the universe expands. This explains why dark energy and dark matter have roughly the same density today, and why dark energy is not constant and uniform throughout the universe. To make the idea of dark fluid more accessible, Farns uses some examples and analogies. He compares dark fluid to a balloon filled with air. If you squeeze the balloon, the air inside will push back and try to escape. This is similar to how dark fluid resists being compressed by gravity and tries to expand the universe. He also compares dark fluid to a substance called aerogel, which is a very light and porous material that can trap air inside its structure. If you put aerogel in water, it will float and create bubbles of air that rise to the surface. This is similar to how dark fluid can trap positive mass inside its negative mass structure and create bubbles of matter that form galaxies. Before we talk about the implications and predictions of the new theory, let's review what we have learned so far. We have seen that dark matter and dark energy are two of the biggest mysteries of the universe, and that they pose some serious problems for the current model of the universe, known as Lambda CDM. We have also seen that a new theory, proposed by Dr. James Farns, suggests that both dark matter and dark energy are actually the same thing. A fluid that possesses negative mass, which he calls dark fluid. We have seen how dark fluid can explain some of the observations that contradict the Lambda CDM model, such as the missing dark matter problem and the accelerating expansion of the universe. Now let's explore what this new theory means for our understanding of the origin and fate of the universe, how it could be tested by future experiments, and what challenges or questions it still faces. We will also mention some of the potential benefits or risks of harnessing negative mass for energy or technology. One of the most important implications of the new theory is that it could change the way we think about the Big Bang, the event that started the universe. According to the Lambda CDM model, the Big Bang was a singularity, a point of infinite density and temperature, where the laws of physics break down. However, according to the new theory, the Big Bang was not a singularity, but a phase transition, where the universe switched from a state of positive mass to a state of negative mass. This means that the universe could have existed before the Big Bang, and that there could be other universes with different masses. Another implication of the new theory is that it could change the way we think about the fate of the universe, the end of its evolution. According to the Lambda CDM model, the universe will end in a big freeze, where it will become so cold and empty that nothing will happen. However, according to the new theory, the universe will end in a big bounce, where it will collapse into a state of positive mass and then bounce back into a state of negative mass. This means that the universe could be cyclic and that there could be multiple big bangs and big bounces. A third implication of the new theory is that it could change the way we think about the structure and composition of the universe. According to the Lambda CDM model, the universe is made up of three main components, ordinary matter, dark matter, and dark energy. However, according to the new theory, the universe is made up of only one component, dark fluid. This means that the universe is simpler and more elegant than we thought and that there could be a unified theory of everything that explains all the forces and phenomena in the universe. Of course, these implications are only theoretical, and they need to be confirmed by empirical evidence. How can we test the new theory by future experiments? One way is to look for the signatures of negative mass in the sky. For example, we can look for the effects of negative mass on the gravitational lensing of light, the bending of light by massive objects, Negative mass would bend light in the opposite direction of positive mass, 
creating a distinctive pattern that could be detected by telescopes. Another way is to look for the effects of negative mass on the cosmic microwave background, the radiation left over from the Big Bang. Negative mass would create fluctuations in the temperature and polarization of the radiation, which could be measured by satellites. However, testing the new theory is not easy, and it faces some challenges and questions. One challenge is to find a way to create negative mass in the laboratory, and to study its properties and interactions with positive mass. This would require a new type of physics and technology, which could be very difficult and expensive to develop. Another challenge is to find a way to reconcile the new theory with quantum mechanics, the theory of the microscopic world. Quantum mechanics is based on the assumption that mass is always positive, and it does not work well with negative mass. This could lead to some paradoxes and inconsistencies, such as the runaway motion problem, where a positive mass and a negative mass would accelerate indefinitely when they are close to each other. Finally, let's consider some of the potential benefits or risks of harnessing negative mass for energy or technology. One benefit is that negative mass could provide a new source of clean and renewable energy, as it can create more of itself as the universe expands. This could solve the energy crisis and the environmental problems that we face today. Another benefit is that negative mass could enable new modes of transportation and exploration, as it can repel gravity and create wormholes, shortcuts in space and time. This could allow us to travel faster and farther than ever before, and to discover new worlds and civilizations. However, these benefits also come with some risks. One risk is that negative mass could be used for destructive purposes, as it can create powerful weapons and bombs, or even trigger the collapse of the universe. This could threaten the security and stability of the world, and the survival of humanity. Another risk is that negative mass could be unpredictable and uncontrollable, as it can behave in strange and counterintuitive ways, or even have a mind of its own. This could pose some ethical and moral dilemmas, and challenge our understanding of reality and ourselves. In short, the new theory that suggests that both dark matter and dark energy are unified into a fluid that possesses negative mass is a fascinating and revolutionary idea that could change everything we know about the universe. It has some amazing implications and predictions, but it also needs some rigorous testing and verification. It also has some potential benefits and risks, but it also raises some challenges and questions. It is a theory that deserves our attention and curiosity and that could inspire us to explore the wonders and mysteries of the cosmos. In this video, we have learned about the dark matter mystery and how a new theory proposed by Dr. James Farnes suggests that both dark matter and dark energy are unified into a fluid that possesses negative mass. We have seen how this theory can explain some of the observations that contradict the current model of the universe, known as Lambda CDM, such as the missing dark matter problem, and the accelerating expansion of the universe. We have also discussed some of the implications and predictions of this theory, such as how it could change our understanding of the origin and fate of the universe, how it could be tested by future experiments, and what challenges or questions it still faces. We have also mentioned some of the potential benefits or risks of harnessing negative mass for energy or technology. This is a fascinating and revolutionary idea that could change everything we know about the universe. What do you think? Do you believe in negative mass? Do you have any questions or comments about this theory? Let us know in the comments section below. We would love to hear from you. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos on science and technology. Thank you for watching and see you next time on Spaceverse.